hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go Hey, it's the Empire. Geobox Empire. Backstreet Boxing. Now, man, Andy Reese versus Anthony Joshua, man. It's official. Everyone's talking about it. And, man, this is the worst matchup that Anthony Joshua can have, man, by far. Unified champion, WBO, WBA, IBF champion, Anthony Joshua. Undefeated, almost all knockouts, is fighting the fastest guy in boxing, by far. And that's Andy Ruiz. Now, if you know anything about Andy Ruiz... He's a Mexican fighter, man. Big fighter. He looks sort of hefty. And the first time he fought for a title, he fought Joseph Parker. And when he fought Joseph Parker, he was destroying Joseph Parker. You know, when I hyped up Joseph Parker when he was fighting, you know, Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, and everyone else, you know, I thought he was a great fighter. But I always talked about how I thought he lost to Andy Ruiz's fight by far. I think that that really needs to be uh, looked into again. And that fight was just a mismatch, in my opinion. Andy Ruiz is quicker, he was faster, and I thought he was taking his time, really. I don't think he ever set the pace up to the point where he knew he was going to lose the fight. You know, um, some fights have open score uh, open score cards where they judge the fight as the fight goes, and you know if you're losing or not. Maybe if he knew he was behind in score, maybe he would have got more aggressive. But that being said, man, Andy Ruiz is definitely the faster fighter of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. And it's not a secret that everyone always wanted to big criticisms of anthony joshua is how slow he is they say he fights like a robot you know they say he fights slow and it's true man anthony joshua is extremely slow so we're gonna see if um i'm gonna see how this fight plays out man it's like the slowest faster versus the quickest faster so and it happens to be <laughs> the one of the slowest fighters happens to be anthony joshua i mean anthony joshua was so slow uh when he was fighting alexander Povetkin. He literally had to switch his whole style up and fight with his hands down to hit Alexander Povetkin. Because when Alexander Povetkin was fighting small, Anthony Joshua really couldn't hit him. So what he did was put his hands down so when he threw a punch, they were already at his waist level. So when he threw it, he will basically hit Povetkin because Povetkin was ducking near Anthony Joshua's waistline. So, you know, that's how slow Anthony Joshua was to the point where he couldn't really make adjustments. He literally had to put his hands down so he can hit a smaller fighter, you know, so that that should tell you everything you need to know. And even Povetkin was giving um, Anthony Joshua a little bit of trouble in the early rounds of that fight because Alexander, Alexander Povetkin is older, you know. He was at his, you know, he was more 100% toward the beginning of the fight, so he did well in the beginning of the fight. But, you know, as the fight progressed, Povetkin slowed down and Anthony Joshua was able to catch him with the right hand. Now, this fight's going to be really interesting, man. I'm not saying that Reese is going to win, but I'm trying to say that this this fight he could easily be one of Anthony Joshua's toughest fights, man, by far. So this is going to be a really good fight, man. I, I'm <laughs> Even with a month to prepare, I think Andy Reese is going to be it's going to be just – he's going to he's gonna look incredible. And, you know, I'm an American, obviously. You can tell by the accent. And I'm telling you guys right now, actually, I'm a black American. The toughest fighters you can fight, man, are like a high-level Mexican fighter because they're extremely tough. They come forward, and then they don't stop throwing punches. That's like that's like their apex style. They call it Mexican style. And it's, it's extremely difficult to deal with, especially some, dealing with someone like Andy Ruiz. I've never seen such a fast – he's probably the fastest Mexican fighter I've ever seen at heavyweight in history. i never seen anything like it. So, you know, the thing is he's dealing with a, a come-forward fighter who throws a lot of punches who can literally – you know, throw like 100 punches around. It's going to be a really dangerous fight for Anthony Joshua. And this is about one of the toughest fights he can fight. Now, I'm sort of mad Anthony Reese didn't get a full training camp. But, hey, man, what can you do? You know, what can you do? All, all I know is, you know, fighting a Mexican fighter, coming over here in America, that's a good way to come to America, fighting a Mexican fighter. But that's not that's not some tune-up fight. That's not some walk -em home fight. That, that's not some come here, coming to America fight, fighting a tough Mexican fighter. A tough, hungry, you know, gritty Mexican fighter who, who wants to come and bring it. You know, these Mexicans, you know, they say they're warriors, man. They're not playing when they say that, man. They'll, they'll literally destroy their career to win one fight or to lose. It don't matter. They're going to go out on a shield. Extremely dangerous stuff, man. Andy Reid is extremely – I don't think people understand how dangerous he is. 
You know, I, I just don't think people know what an Idris this guy is. I think he's an extremely dangerous fighter. The mentality is really what's scary. It's not the skills because he his skills are already at another level. I, and, and no one could say that Anthony Josh is quicker than Andy Reese. No one's going to say that. It's, a, it's, just, it's just not possible. It's not It's not a thing. Andy Reese is extremely quicker. But it's really the mentality. And it's spread across the board. You know, uh, mostly, I mean, of course, there's people who quit. But mostly Mexicans, they, they go all out, man. And they're coming to bring it. So this is definitely not a, hey, guys, I'm going to come to America and look good for my first fight in America. No. This is going to be a tough fight for Anthony Joshua, man. Josh was going to bring it, obviously. He was preparing for a Jalen Miller, so I guess something similar. They're going to throw a lot of punches, uh, Jalen Miller and Andy Rees. You know, Jalen Miller de- obviously doesn't hit as hard as Andy Rees. Andy Rees is a much better fighter. A lot of people think that Andy Rees is actually a better fighter than Jalen Miller, which I, I think he is. You know, um, Andy Rees is extremely – he used to be with top rank, and I think he got his first loss from Joseph Parker. He basically took a hiatus for a little bit. And um, I think Top Rank probably shelved him because he just wasn't active anymore. But he signed with PBC, and that's why Anthony Reese is fighting Anthony Joshua today. Thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you, Al Heyman. People, everyone should be thanking Al Heyman right now for this fight because this is about as good as it gets. Uh, my hat goes off to Anthony Joshua for taking this fight. This fight is definitely a, a threat, one of the biggest threats he could possibly face. Shame this isn't the full training camp, but I'll take it nevertheless. You know, I'll take it nevertheless. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Do you guys think Anthony Reese has a really good chance? I think he has a great chance. I think he's quick. I think the mentality is dangerous. I think he's going to come in hungry. And, you know, with a month to train, man, sometimes you get in a zone for a month. You might He might even train harder. Who knows? Just because he has less time to train. Will he train harder just because he has less time to prepare for Anthony Joshua? I think so, man. He might, <laughs> he might, even, he might get even better because this is it for him. This is it. He fights for his title, he's going to have to show out, period, if he wants any big fights. Because if you get blown out by a champion, no one's going to want to fight you after that. You're going to have to prove yourself, period. Most people who prove themselves against champions stay relevant. Andy Reeves is going to have to prove himself in this fight. And he, he, I think he's going to come to win. So we're going to see everything, um, how everything unfolds. I haven't even seen Andy Reeves even wobble one time. Mexicans are known to have chins as well. I mean, Anthony Josh is going to have to grow his stomach. And I've never seen Anthony Josh even throw a body shot before. I think I've seen him like throw like three my whole my whole his whole career, like like devastating body shots where he just stops somebody. Not a bum either. I'm talking about high level fighter. We'll see how everything unfolds though, man. I'm not saying that he's gonna win, but I'm saying that this is this is about dangerous as it gets in my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Andy Ruiz, you know they're fighting in New York. It's a shame they should have fought in Cali or something somewhere where there's a high high higher Mexican population that have been really hype. But you know, hey, man. You know, you get what you get. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace. Geobasic Empire.